shattered backboard shattered line if you ask me uh when the ultra boost 2019 dropped people were like whoa you've gone in the wrong direction you've broken the lineage of ultra boost 1.0 through 4.0 uh, and you've taken it in a completely wrong direction similar to what we did think was going to be the yeezy 350 v3s but now we're told are 380s uh which i'll be talking about tomorrow um and then here we are with the shattered backboard it's one of the most iconic sneakers in the air jordan one line um when they dropped earlier this year again here in Japan for what was called the week of the ones it was the one I went after uh, and tried to get my hands on because I hold that particular sneaker in extremely high esteem uh, and then uh, in the middle of the summer we started getting drips and drops of these uh, 3.0s coming out and my instinct was to not like them um, but I've learned I've learned my faithful viewer I've learned that the the first instinct isn't always the right instinct think that sometimes when you, you look at a sneaker it turns out you know actually there's more to, the, to this than, me, the, than meets the eye uh, no not in this case I still don't like them um, and the only the only smidgen of comfort I get is it turns out that nobody else likes them too um, so uh, I thought I was gonna sit here moan about a sneaker that everybody else likes uh, and get pelters as we say in Scotland get pelters in the comments down below for uh, going against the grain because I thought the hype beasts would take over on this they're not Nobody out there seems to like the uh, Shattered Backboard 3.0, um, myself included, and I'll be <laughs> explaining to you in today's video exactly why it is that I can't get on board with this sneaker. This is a Tokyo Bara 23 sneaker channel. Tokyo Bara 23 sneaker channel. There's Mainichi. Absolutely no day. Mainichi meeting to sign. Every single day, I bring you content from Tokyo, Japan about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. Uh, and today is no different as we look forward to the October 26th drop date for the Nike Air Jordan 1 uh, Shadow Backboard 3.0. And as I said earlier in this video, uh, there's an awful lot to live up to because the previous iterations of the Shadow Backboards, uh, including those satin Shattered Backboards, and even earlier this summer, or the the satin uh, not the satin, the shattered, the shattered, the shattered, the shattered backboard uh, Air Jordan 1 lows. Uh, even they have got um, a lot to live up to. And that reminds me, actually, uh, I totally forgot I did this. This is what happens when you do daily drops. I mean, I've dropped like more than 300 videos in the last year. Um, and uh, I did a video about them all. Um, I had the shattered backboard, the, the lows, these 3.0s and there was a fourth one I wonder if it was the original shattered backboards I can't remember um, but I'll put a link to that video up here if I remember to I hope I do remember to um, uh, because I forgot I'd made that video uh, and it was quite a nice video I liked it quite a lot actually I thought I did a good job on it and nobody watched it so it'd be good if you could click that and watch it now um, but anyway, enough uh, rambling from me. Uh, we need to get into this sneaker and look at why it is a sneaker that I don't personally like, and perhaps you will echo those sentiments. But before we do that, this is a YouTube channel that's growing fast and growing well, and it's growing because people like you are clicking the subscribe button down below. If you've already done that, thanks, I appreciate it. If you haven't done it yet, please go ahead and do and join the crew. Uh, join the biggest sneaker gang in the world. Um, and uh, that is, sorry, I'm smiling. People out there are gonna be like, what are you talking about? Um, there's a reason it will become clear you join the channel uh, and you grow with with me and the, the biggest sneaker gang in the world and, and I'm not gonna explain that right now um, but you'll uh, you'll find out over the course of the next few months um, but yes this is a, a YouTube channel hitting that subscribe button down below and watching for as long as possible helps so please do do that and as I am here in Tokyo Japan I do see the start of every single one of my videos Toroku Yoroshiko no Yashimas Don Don channel ga okiku natte iru node to mo Toroku shite kyore ta kata ni arigatou gozaimasu kansha shimasu to mada Toroku shite nai hito ni uh, okay, so let's have a look at these guys. Now, straight off the bat, it's me, not you. Um, the I don't like patent leather on sneakers. Uh, never have, don't think I ever will. Uh, it really, I, I don't like glossy, I don't like a glossy look on my sneakers, so the patent leather uh, effect isn't something that I like. Uh, and that's a personal thing. I'm not saying uh, patent leather sneakers are bad because it's up to you to decide what you like and up to me to decide what I like. I don't like them. Uh, and that's fine because people are allowed to have their preferences and that's my preference. Uh, I particularly remember earlier in the year the UNC women's 
uh, dropped, uh, Air Jordan 1s dropped with a patent leather uh, upper and then later in the year a, a, a unisex or men's version dropped with just regular leather on them and I much preferred the regular leather. Um, so I don't really like patent leather so when these guys first came out in all patent leather uppers I was just like nah um, I'm sure they're gonna like be really hyped but for me I just don't like it. I don't like that glossy look. I prefer a matte look to my sneakers um, in general so uh, so straight off the bat I didn't like them. Uh, they weren't my kind of thing. Um, and it took me a while to figure out one thing that I didn't like about them was that they only have two colors in black and orange. Uh, and I was really, I was looking at them, looking at them, looking at them, I was like, what is it I don't like about them? Uh, and then I, I brought, up, uh, brought up a picture of like previous satin, uh, not satin, previous shattered backboards, including lows. Uh, and in the midfoot area behind the swoosh, they had white there. Uh, whereas these guys, it's all black and orange. And I think that's one of the reasons why I don't like them is it's just too overpowering to have just two colors on there instead of a third color to offset them. Uh, speaking of colors, if you go up to the wings uh, and that wings logo on there, um, it's, a, it's a good example of where you could have had a different hit of color. Uh, the black branding on the orange background of the wing there and the wings logo. Um, I, you know, maybe that could have been white, mm, uh, the wings logo or some other color to give it a little bit more definition on there. Um, but, uh, you know, overall look, I, I struggle with, with the pattern leather and I struggle with the, the two colors on it. Uh, and even if you go down to the outsole and the midsole, uh, which I think is a sail colorway, um, they just kind of missed the boat on that because um, sail was the color of early 2019. Uh, it was just about every sneaker that dropped had something sail going on in it, whether it was a sail upper or um, sail midsole or a sail uh, I don't know, accents or detailing or whatever, sale, 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 sale. Uh, but here we are in uh, early winter 2019, uh, half a year later, and sale seems to have gone out the window. There aren't that many sneakers right now that are dropping with a sort of sale effect on them. Um, so then having these guys, these shattered, back, shattered backboard 3.0s uh, coming into the house with a sale out. So it just feels, um, you know, slightly out of place. Uh, whoever designed these guys, maybe designed them um, to drop earlier this year and they would have looked like you know they would have really caught a particular wave that was going on at that particular time uh, but here we are in the winter of 2019 I think the patent leather thing is overdone. I think the sale outsole and midsole uh, is mistimed. Uh, and I think the two-tone color, instead of having a third color in there to offset that, uh, is a misplaced idea. So all in all for me, uh, it is not, um, it's not really a, a sneaker that I can get behind. And I was kind of surprised to see in my research that basically most people are saying that. Uh, because usually a sneaker like this uh, gets the hype beasts going and they just like it. It's an Air Jordan 1, it's a shattered back Board, it must be great so it's great to see people actually saying you know know what I'm gonna actually think about this and give you my honest opinion rather than just following the hype so happy to see that um, you know nobody likes to see a sneaker fail um, especially you know a classic like an Air Jordan 1 or a classic like the shattered backboard but you know if people call it straight I think that's better than just pretending that it's hype when it isn't actually cool uh, okay enough about that now let's get on to the butter movement stuff um, you know I'm an ancient old man and I've been forgetting a lot of stuff recently and I've already forgotten if I said in this video that there's a butter movement playlist so boom, I'll put that playlist up here if uh, I haven't already done so um, and it's great that people are checking out that playlist and dropping comments I think it's a good idea to have the butter movement stuff in one place and my stuff in another place uh, but what I need from you guys out there is I need a bit of feedback on what you think uh, is going on and what you would like to see happen. How's it going so far? Um, I mean, don't get greedy and say we want the shoe butter every day. I want shoe butter every day and I would give him every day on my channel if he dropped content every day. I'm not kidding, I really would. Um, but he doesn't want to do that. He's not in a position to drop daily content right now. Um, but that's fine, you know, if that's if that's what that is, that's what that is. Um, so don't get greedy and say we want more of shoe butter because you'll get exactly what he can give. Um, but what about, you know, what kind of content do you guys want to see out there? Um, what would you like to see from the shoe department or from shoe butter himself? What would you like to see him and Mark talk about? Um, I, you know, I know that I like to see Mark shoot videos where he talks about the sneakers because he gives a, a background and an insight to the sneakers that I think nobody else can. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of content or if there's something particular that you want from the shoe uh, apartment, uh, the shoe butter or the butter movement side of things, let us know in the comments down below and we'll do our very, very best to bring you that kind of stuff. Uh, okay, it's time for me to sign off. Thank you guys for checking out my content. 
content. I do do this every single day, so uh, it's hard work, but I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Uh, we've got one more uh, video this week to do, which tomorrow will be the Adidas Yeezy 380. I already did a review, review about this uh, sneaker when we thought it was the 350V3, uh, but now they're calling it the 380. Um, and I, I have particular reasons for um, being cynical about that because I think uh, what they're trying to do is uh, they've realized that making it the next step in the 380 line would um, be a disservice to the previous 350, sorry, the next step in the 350 line would be a disservice to the previous 350, so they're calling that 380 uh, to separate the two. And I wish they'd do that with these shattered backboards today. Why don't they just call it backboard or intact backboard so as not to damage the previous shattered backboards which have come out and been fired. Uh, okay, it's time for me to sign off. Thank you guys for checking out my content. I truly appreciate the subscribes and the long watch times, but for now I have to go. Um, and uh, But as I am here every single day, I get to say that at the end of my videos, extremely confidently, yes, that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.